So why would I want to rescan and reconvert something into 3D that already exists in a digital 3D format? Well, that's a relevant question. And of course you don't have to, but let me show at least one case where this method comes in handy. Here we have a 3D model of a Furby because it uses a complex particle calculation that imitates hair and fur. Rendering one image in Blender with good quality takes about 35 seconds. Okay. Then, if we build a virtual camera rig around it using the Camera Array tool, it creates cameras on the surface of any object. And if we use it to build such a gauge with a total of 272 cameras, we can use it to shoot a picture of this Furby from every necessary angle. Did you just say over 200 cameras? That's a lot. A lot of rendering. Yes. Ridiculous, right? And when we render the image out of all these cameras, it takes several hours. Two hours and 38 minutes to be exact. That's right. Creating a point cloud and training the Gaussian splatting model in the PostShot program takes even more time. I don't get it. So what's the point? The point is that when you do this heavy lifting work and use all the time that is wasted on rendering and all the calculations only once, after that, you can view and run the model in real time with this quality. This is a Gaussian splatting version of this Furby model that has been trained up to 30K iteration steps. It runs in real time at 70 or even 120 frames per second. It means that you can rotate all these hairs and details in a web browser in real time. Huh? Okay. I see. That makes sense. The camera array tool for Blender is now available in the Gumroad online store.